A Toronto teen has been accepted to the prestigious Juilliard School, one of only three trumpet players accepted this year. There is one big problem, the admission cost. is four years there will cost more than $350,000. So William Leathers is now looking to crowdfunding to help him achieve his dreams, and he joins me now in studio. William, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure, thank you. Uh, all right, let's talk about this. To date, you've raised nearly $95,000 through crowdfunding. How, how do you feel about the response you've gotten? Uh, well, it's really, you know, shocking and overwhelming for my uh, family and myself as well, you know. Um, knowing that so many people, there's like over 2,000 supporters I see on this website coming out to support me. Many of them haven't even uh, heard me play. They're just, you know, generous people from the community. They hear somebody, a Canadian from Toronto, gets into Juilliard and they want to support me. They, they hear I need help, so they want to support me. So um, it's, it's a really good feeling that people care about the arts and that they uh, they really want to see me succeed. T take me through the emotions that you felt because you you wanted to get to, into Juilliard, you got into Juilliard, but then you faced the the prospect of you know this financial burden, and now crowdfunding is is opening up that possibility. So so take me through how you felt when you got in. Well, the uh, the whole preparation process and um, you know my uh, my confidence in this whole auditioning for a Juilliard thing. And uh, hearing that that uh, I belong there from different people, like my teacher, uh, one of the greatest trumpet players of all time, Winston Marsalis, hearing all of these uh, comments from people, you know, that that gave me the confidence that I would get in. What what did surprise me is I emailed one of the students at Juilliard that had emailed me first, uh, just to ask her how many trumpet players got in this year, and uh, she said, well, three undergrads, two master students, so. So I was thinking there, there are about a thousand people that auditioned, that did the live auditions, just under a thousand. Wow. And to know that I was one of three undergrads. It's a point was, of pride for you, your whole yeah. family, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, you've decided to keep the, uh, the fundraiser open. That's right, um, yeah. Because the, like, you've, ra there's, you've raised a significant amount of money, but this will by no means cover your four years. So what's the plan moving forward? Well, so the, the goal initially was to raise enough money for the, the first year, and since people have been so responsive to this and generous, this, this amount was raised in a matter of about four days. So what I've decided to do is to start paying it forward. I wanted to pay it forward for um, you know, a really long time now to support other artists that work hard. So what I've decided to do is take 10% of the final amount, no matter what it is, and start a foundation for other artists that work hard, get into the schools that they want to get into, but uh, are financially in trouble and can't um, get there. That's so wonderful. that's what I like to do. And, and if we do get to the four years, which is the new goal on the fundraising website, then 100% of every extra dollar after that is going to go into this foundation that's as well. That's fantastic. You know, there's so many interesting things about you, but one of them that I read is that you, ha you have a condition called synesthesia. That's right, yeah. What is that? Well, basically, scientists believe that's where uh, somebody has extra neurons that create extra connections in the brain, forming almost like a sixth sense. So there are 64, over 64 different types of synesthesia, and uh, some of them include seeing sound and color, seeing letters and numbers and color. So is that what color. you see? Yeah, some, those are two of the two examples that I have. Yeah. So, so if we were to play music, if mm -hmm. you were to hear music, yeah. you would also see the music. Yeah, I'd see every note and color, every, every and whatever the key of the music is. And you color. see it yeah. as color. Yeah, that's amazing. Thanks. When did you know? At what point was you, were you diagnosed, and how how was this discovered? My uh, my mom figured it out actually. She had seen uh, a documentary on synesthesia way before I was born, and uh, she just thought of it as one of those documentaries. So, uh, she watched it. It kind of went over her head, but then when she had me, when I was a toddler, um, I was playing on. Uh, she was watching TV. I was playing on the ground with Legos, and this uh, Olive Garden commercial came on, and uh, with the opera singer. So I was sort of looking off from the TV, not directly at the screen, sort of at the speakers, like a blind person watching TV. That's and amazing. so, um, and so I said to my mom, "That's very beautiful music," and she thought that was a very 
descriptive term to describe sound for a <laughs> toddler. But so listen, we we, we have know. so much more that we want to talk about with you, but we mm. also want to hear you play. Yeah. We, please come back. Please keep us posted on will, on, yeah. on all of your uh, your success because we know you're going to have a lot of it. But in the meantime, we've, you've given us a few tastes this morning. Would you mind uh, playing us to break? Yeah, of course. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. William Leathers, congratulations, and uh, we should tell everyone we're going to have a link to William's details on his web on our website, yourmorning.ca. That's a little bit later. Take us, take it away.